Here I have our 17 and a half DBI dual pole Yagi. Today I'm going to be showing you how to mount the hardware for our 17 and a half and our 14 and a half DBI Yagi. In the box you get a mounting bracket, the sleeve for the Yagi, two U-bolts, the mounting hardware for the sleeve, which consists of bolts and nuts and washers, and two plates. Now for best performance, we recommend using the silver plate. You can just toss this one to the side. First thing you're going to want to do is put the Yagi sleeve onto the Yagi by sliding it over the end. You'll notice there's little marks on there um, so that you can use this in horizontal, vertical, or in 45. Um, I'm going to be building this one in 45. Next you're going to want to stick your bolts through your plate, through there. Add your washer and your lock nut. Now the top one's going to be solid on there, and the bottom one is going to tighten and to hold the Yagi. You'll notice this Yagi does allow for up tilt and down tilt, whereas our old single pull Yagi did not. So you can adjust that on the fly. Then you take your U-bolts, mount them through, and add your nuts and washers on the other side. All right, next you can grab your cambium radio, it slides into the bracket, and then you put the adjustment plate over top. It's kind of tricky the first time, but it just slides right in there, and then it clips in at the bottom. As you can see, the radio is solid. <laughs> 